start of day four. Starting a little bit later today because the guys have to top up their live bait tanks. So we got a load of sardines in the live bait tanks for the guys to use. We are about half nine in the morning, so a little later it's bloody hot, man. Really clear day, really sunny. Starting in the heat, it's gonna be sweaty. Monster top, but big it up, let's get it done. Bosh. Hooked up on the jig again. Little speed jig on the way up. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, it's a mackerel. Yeah. leader but I got an assist on the circle so there's a chance but not much I got someone's brave Woo! another species someone's brave oh that's sick uh, Spanish yeah no King yeah King Michael Yes. Woohoo! Now I've made the adjustment to having a sliding jig and a circle hook assist. It's in there. I just gotta keep it in there. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Now I've got to try and slide the jig up the line on a loose drag. And he's gonna spit it. <laughs> snapper or something yeah good fish yeah that's a snapper surely the, the head shakes and then I got some J hooks on there now as well roll the dice uh oh uh oh. Yeah, no. Man, it's a snapper, surely. Why? Oh, I got my mutton. Come on, we gotta get this in the boat. Oh, nice. He wasn't coming off. <laughs> yes. Man, I've tried so hard for this fish before. Woo! <laughs> you got the mutton. Thanks, Johnny, man. That is sick. <laughs> yeah, grouper. Yeah, black grouper. Nice. Came up with it. What is this? It's like maybe foul hooked or something. Some like jacky sort of. Headbutts. Yeah. Like, <laughs> to start with. Feels kind of foul hooked though. It's coming up weird. Ah, Pompano. No, big moonfish. That is cool. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Yes. That's epic, man. That's real epic. Yeah, yeah. They make like good fish fingers, these. Breadcrumbs. You. Neil's got a 
the tarpon on here. We've been pretty unlucky with the tarpon today. I jumped one on the jig pretty early on. We've managed, we, we've lost a couple, but they're just, you know, spitting it on their first jump or whatever. Just haven't had the luck today. The first one that we've had on for more than five minutes. It's a nice fish. It's coming in here now. Yeah, it's here on the leader. Uh, he's wrapped. now. Nice. Oh, I like it. Good man. Woohoo! Here she comes, big Jack Cravel. Oh yeah, stunning. Pig. Nice Chris. <laughs> I don't want to yeah, yeah, good fish. Very strong for a fish. Ball man's GT. Oh, what a Jack Craval that is. Wow. That is a beast. Yeah, wait one second. section of water here on this point so the tide is ripping out of the bay of like Trinidad um, and Venezuela so it rips out the bay hits off this point and it's four and a half knots of tide flying off of here wind with it we're moving wow. really interesting bit of water and we're hooked up Chris I think he's gone deaf. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> banging its head. Aerial shit. <laughs> now that one's that one's live bait. That is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy. Then. Coming up, coming up, coming up. <laughs> Look at this little thing, man. Little peanut. Oh, what? Have you... That's that's not a tarpon, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Wee! <laughs> Oh, it's great. These little ones are well fun. Man, that one's a puppy. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Little tuppet. And release. Woohoo! Keep them coming. Yep. <laughs> there we go, off. Ah! Dropped it. Ah, and again. Oh. Oh. Yep. Woo, that is tiny. Yeah. Woo, this is fun. <laughs> Back off. Oh, it's tiny man. This one's still in its mum's fucking womb. Super cool though, seeing the small ones. Yeah, 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 man. Woo! 
Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja. Lovely. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Little nugget. And a release. Woo! <laughs> Epic. End to the day. Just banged out, I don't know, 10, 12 small tarp and literally back to back. It was kicking off. Nothing massive, nothing probably bigger than like 12, 15 pounds. But it's super cool, it's really small nuggets. That was epic. I hooked something in there as well that reefed me. I'm guessing a snap or a little fruit, but cheers boys. Till tomorrow. That is the end of day four. Started off quite slow. I had a couple of nice fish on the jig. Got a nice king mackerel. Uh, jumped a tarpon on the slow jig. And then it was pretty hard really. We didn't get any luck with tarpon. Which ones we did hook, we lost like pretty much straight away as well, which was really annoying. And then uh, slowly and progressively it got better and better. Um, I had a nice mutton snapper, finally got my mutton snapper on the slow jig. Um, I had a few Jack Cravels, one a little bit better one as well. I think I had three in total. I had a really cool, what they call moonshine, or I think I call them moonfish. Um, really stunning, like mirrored um, sort of Jack species with crazy looking thing. Um, and then, yeah, and then we got onto the tarpon. The bite started turning on. Uh, the best one went to Paul. He had one about 90 pounds a day. Um, we had a couple of other nice fish as well. And then right at the very end, um, we managed to get on a crazy bite of little small tarpon. Um, nothing serious, nothing crazy in size, but man, super cool. It was fast, furious. We was banging them in. I think we managed 10 or 12 fish within like pff, very quick time. It was super cool. They were acrobatic as anything. But yeah, until tomorrow, we're gonna get some food. Refuel, go again. Day five, heading towards the end of our trip. We've got today and tomorrow to see what we can get done. It's going to be a really hot one today. You can see it's very flat behind us. The other boats come in here to load on the other group, and we are loading up with Captain Jonathan De Rosa, the god of tarpon. Let's get it done. old ledge there as well actually. Yeah. You can see the ledge go straight down there, can't you? How deep it is. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Shows how fucked up they get. Just such a Beautiful spot this is, jeez it is. Yeah. to go that far that way. We do. <laughs> it's only a small one. Uh, maybe tighten your line there, Chris. Yeah, a bit more, Chris. I can see it. I think... <laughs> I think we're safe. I reeled that slowly and then he, he hit it on the retrieve and dropped it back and got in the second time. Number one of the day. He's good. Take it for a run. Yeah. It's a bend in the rod, that's the main thing.
Uh, it's just beautiful. Jump in with him. Huh? Got it? Yeah, I got him. Yeah, it's definitely worth jumping in over that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's like Finn Perfect, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't mastered it yet. Oh no, big scenes. Gain and then I'll pop it on. Ah. Neil's got a fish on here. Jumped out a couple of times, makes a lot of line. And it's headed straight for the rocks, like almost under the rocks. And it's still going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really technical. We literally got the boat like right under the rocks with 10 meters from it. And it is still absolutely stripping line and just going deep. Some really deep water, like right in close to these cliffs. Super interesting. Way, and it's getting a little bit snotty in here. the quickest you've moved all week Chris <laughs> and at the right time as well Yes, double. <clears throat> Good stuff, Paul. It's coming up, I'll go underneath. Fuck it, it come off? No, 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 no it's coming towards you. Oh, oh, fuck. Go uh, no, you're going up that way. Uh, we're very close. Stay kind of close because together so we can see. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm going out. We're going out together. Yeah. Over the top of me, Chris. Might be worth reading yours in, because... <laughs> That'll make a cool bit of footage. <laughs> Come up again. Whoa, that was epic. How big is it? Yeah, it's, a, it's a better one, yeah. Like maybe like one of those 70s or something, 80. Or bigger. Nice. <laughs> Time to chase this one. It's got a lot, a lot of line out. It's been stripping. You gotta really work him when he's backing down on him.
melting line back now. sweaty now in this sun. Man, I've just gained back so much line. Woo! We're up tight now, we're right there. Right here, Jono. 10 foot, 15 foot. I've got a feeling he's gonna go crazy. clear here. Whoa. Easy, 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 easy. Let go if need to. Fish. Can I lift it? Sure. For the photo. You want to put on some gloves up? Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, I've got I've got one glove on. So, someone hold this. <laughs> Go for his rolling. Let's see. You want more than he tried to put one hand behind that pin on his back. What a beautiful yeah, kick this. Lovely job. Oh my god, look at that in the clear water. Woo! Nice job, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks, John Oak. Sick, Neil. Another species. <laughs> Look at that. A picture of that, because they are beautiful, yeah, yeah, yeah. they? Sick. Well, that is the end of day five. It is a beautiful, like, sundown. Really nice day. Paul is down here fighting the last fish of the day. It's a nice tarpon, about 50, 60 pounds. Chris has just landed on about 70 pounds. I had a real solid fish on the jig but it spat it like I don't know, maybe a bit more or something after a real brutal fight. But yeah, really nice day. Bit of a hard one for me. I started, really started, I managed a couple of small tarpons to start with and then literally just could not buy a bite all day. 
uh, the other boys were doing pretty well and then yeah the tide turned managed to stay a little clue runner on the jig and then had a big tarpon I don't know about 90 100 pound after that and uh, yeah steady trickle throughout the day and then yeah this evening's really kicked off um, plenty of tarpon um, I've had jack of hell on the jig uh, we had a dorado other things I jumped a big tarpon on a jig about 70 pounds which is super cool um, but yeah nice day one more day of fishing left I've not got too much memory space on my GoPro but I'll try and get what I can I'm out for the this evening catch you tomorrow it is the final morning of the Trinidad trip day six of fishing unfortunately and then we will be heading back to the UK no doubt we're going to have another action-packed day and I'll be showing you some fish shortly after. But yeah, heading down to the restaurant for breakfast, which is set on the marina, really nice setting. And then yeah, heading out at 9am this morning for our trip. Looking forward to it at the same time. I think I'll be feeling a little bit sad when we're on the way in, knowing that I can't, can't go out and target tarpon again for a while. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully I'll show you some screaming reels and bent rods. is this? It's got to be a snapper. Look at it going mental, man. <laughs> going ballistic. I'm going to come around here. 
Why is it feeling more like a jack now? Jack. Oh, good fight. Piranha's fight like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a jack. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Oh my god. Oh no, it is a jack. I got two. I got two jacks on one jig. <laughs> Yoo! That is sick. I thought it was fighting like. <laughs> Man, we gotta get a picture of this. That's <laughs> up. I thought it was fucking wild, man. <laughs> Yes! Oh, that's gnarly. That was cool. set in at the minute. They started well for me. I had a nice tarpon, got about 60, 70 pound. Straight in, first first cast. It was totally opposite to yesterday's scenario. But yeah, that was nice. And then we managed to get on a bit of a bite with some smaller tarpon and a couple of better fish were lost. That's part and parcel of the game. And then it went really dead, man. We really struggled to buy a bite throughout the midday. Hot, lethargic, not much fish showing or uh, biting. And then, yeah, we literally just got on a good bite again. Managed two Jack Crabelle on a jig, which was a bit of a mental scrap to be fair. It's crazy, I really didn't know what it was. But yeah, two Jack Crabelle on a jig, a couple of tarpon started biting and the boys have landed them. So everyone's a winner. We had a leather jacket, another species to the tally. Um, a couple more Jack Crabelle as well for the boys. So yeah, things are looking up, but the rain's pretty heavy at the minute. So it doesn't make it easy. Hold on, the bears of savanna and the bears of Japan got inspiration by watching one. When life's getting tough, he's not dropping his bag. One is the guy who walks on one leg. One love, one heart. is the end of the final day day six what an insane trip another great day started off with a really nice tarpon about 70 pounds i actually didn't have the gopro running so it's not on my gopro it was literally first cast which was great and yeah a few of the other boys had a few tarpon as well and then it went pretty slow and then we managed to find the bite again which was solid and uh, yeah ended up with some really nice fish us but what an insane trip i don't know we're gonna have to have an add up because there's another boat been fishing as well with this group but we are over 100 tarpon between us i believe we're definitely over 50 tarpon on this boat for the week for sure like easily um i think i'm on about 19 tarpon i think paul is on about 19 20 tarpon as well and the other boys have had yeah like 15 or so each as well like just an insane fishery. I literally cannot even describe how great this place is. And we're on a week that's been like pretty average, like good, but it gets a lot better as well, which is so hard to even comprehend when it comes to tarpon fishing. But a beautiful fishery. Generally, the gist has been each day that I've been having like one or two tarpon and pretty much happy with that because obviously I'm host on this trip and then leaving the rest of the tarpon fishing uh, to the other boys on the on the trip so I've been messing around with jigs which has been 
very interesting actually. I've managed a lot of different species on the jig, some very nice species as well. Good bit of fun. Yeah, it's not a jigging destination at all, but it's also good to see what's down there at the end of the day. I've had, I think, I'm gonna have to add up, but I think I'm on about 13 species myself. I think collectively the group are on about 17, 18 species for the for the six days fishing, which just is epic in a generally an all out tarpon destination. I can't stress how good these boys are at finding those tarpon. If we haven't been catching them, we've been seeing them. Like these boys know where they are all the time. Jonathan De La Rossa of Monster Tarpon, the absolute god of tarpon fishing deck hands they're all full on there is not a second of the day that these boys aren't grafting they're casting baits out constantly they're constantly doing something to get the bite on anyway we'll have a little roundup but what a trip what an end to the trip beautiful weather we've only had two spots of rain through the whole week as well unreal i know one thing i'll definitely be back here and i don't think it'll be too long that is me kieran Wild Seas Fishing on tour overseas in Trinidad, tarpon fishing. Until next time, make sure you comment on this video, like, subscribe.